cutting it to the length that I'll be needing for the vase. And I'll be using a pair of scissors for that. These are cups that I got from the Dollar Tree to come six in a pack, but I'll be making use of just two of them. This is how I intend to glue both cups together, but then I'm going to create a hole inside both of the cups at the bottom using a soldering iron. And now to glue them together, I'll be using a strong adhesive and I'm using a new 6000 glue. And I'm also going to be using a hot glue gun so that I can continue with the project. To make sure that it's safe to work with its trims, I'll be bending the sharp edges. Now that I'm done with that, it is safe to continue. The cups that I glue together will be placed here in the middle. And I'll be gluing it down using a hot glue gun for now. The next thing that I will be doing is putting both ends of the trim at the tip of the cup. And then to make it sit properly, I'll be using a soldering iron to make holes. And with these holes, I'll be able to attach the trims to the cup. I made four holes in total. These are zip ties that I will be using to hold the cup and trim together. And this is what it looks like. This is extremely light in weight, so I'll be putting something at the bottom to keep it balanced. And I got this clear rocks from the Dollar Tree, and that's what I'm going to be gluing around the bottom to keep the vase balanced on the table. To make sure that the rocks don't fall off, I'll be going around with an E6000 glue. I'll be decorating the trim with 1 inch mirrors and the link for these mirrors will be in the description box below. I kept gluing the mirrors onto the trim but left this part here so that the base can remain leveled. To cover up these zip ties that are showing, I'll be using gems. After covering the zip ties, I decided to add more gems around it and also around the edges of the trim. I did this for both sides. To cover up the middle part that connects both cups together, I'll be using acrylic gems that I got from the Dollar Tree. I call this a ring vase because it's round just like a ring and it's also got lots of bling just like a ring. And now moving on to the decorative wall mirror. I got this mirror from the Dollar Tree and I detached the mirror from the frame. And then I cut a foam board to the size that I'll be needing and spray painted the edges silver using this silver Rust-Oleum spray paint. And then I glued the mirror in the middle and then use the same metallic trim and then I cut it to lengths that will fit the mirror. This is how I arranged it around the mirror and then I glued them down with a hot glue gun. These are one inch square mirrors that I'll be using around the corners. The link for these mirrors will be in the description box below. To add to the decor, I'll be using silver plastic spoons that I got from the Dollar Tree. And then I cut the parts of the spoon that I will be needing. And these are the parts. And I'll be gluing them on these circles that we have on the trim. I'll 
be finishing off the design with gems that come in a string that I got from Walmart. The detailing from the trim added texture to this mirror and I love the way it turned out. Moving on to the next item which is a decorative tray. I got this mirror from the Dollar Tree and the frame came in black but I spray painted it silver using a silver Rust-Oleum spray paint. I'm using the trim to wrap it around the mirror to get the length and then I cut it down with a pair of scissors and then glue the trim around the mirror. frame of the mirror in the inside gives it a more interesting look. I'll be making holes using this hole to come with the trim as my guide. I'm using a very tiny trail bit and then I put a dab of glue there and then use temp tacks to cover it up. This will secure the trim around the mirror much stronger. I cover the heads of the temp tacks with gems. These are decorative legs that I got online and the link for these legs will be in the description box below. I spray painted them silver and I glued them at the back of the tray. Now this looks beautiful just the way it is, but to make it look similar to the other two designs, I'm going to be gluing on mirrors also around the trim. And just like the other two designs, I'll be finishing it off with gems. This is what all three of them look like together. This is the perfect gift set for any occasion. And it is so unique in style because it's got a unique decorative vase with a decorative tray and a decorative wall mirror. These are handmade pieces that look like they were bought from a store and they will make the perfect gift set for that special someone. I forgot to mention that I added gems inside the trim for the flower vase to hide the back of the mirrors. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.